Welcome to the bold man with a beard, today we look at the possibility to edit footage and retrieve a short film with game highlights within the Xbox Go app. When you enter the Xbox Go app, your screen should look like this. Click on local files at the bottom of your screen. This is the folder where your videos are stored. As you can see, I have two files in the folder, corresponding to the first and second half of a football match I filmed. Have a closer look at both files. In the upper left corner of both files are black and white symbols. The cloud symbol on the first file indicates that this file is also saved in the cloud and not only locally. The pointy symbol on the second file indicates that I have marked important scenes in this video with the help of the Xbox Go remote. Now I want to make a final review of both files and let Xbox Go make a shortened combined video file only showing the highlights from the game. First click on the orange field Add Editing Task. The next screen will ask you which videos you want to edit. I choose both videos I have in the folder. Click Next. You are now on the video editing screen. On the editing screen, you can add highlights in the video if you have forgotten to do so with the remote during the game. It is also possible to remove wrongly marked highlights. To add a highlight in the first video, search for the right spot in the video and press the Add button to add a marker. An added marker is shown as a yellow dot on the line in the upper video. You can search the right spot in your video in three ways. Either by just reviewing the video in play mode, or, you stop the video and scroll at the bottom of it, or, you fine-tune by dragging the storyline forwards or backwards frame by frame. Once you have added all markers you need, switch to the second video. Repeat what you have done before and add markers where you like. If you have set a marker by mistake, you can also remove it. Scroll to the exact frame where the marker is set. You would do that with the Storyline Scroller, as it allows you frame-by-frame frame scrolling. The frame where a marker is set will have an orange marking around it. Click on that orange frame and click Delete and the marker will disappear. Once you are entirely done, click Next. Another window opens and asks you how many seconds of the video material you would want to include before and after each marker you have set in both videos. The maximum number is 60 seconds before and 60 seconds after each marker. Once you are done, click Trim and the app will create your highlight video. You find the video in the app's local folder. The black-white symbol shows a scissor, which indicates that this video file is an edited video file with your highlights. That is all for now folks, if you like my channel or find these videos useful, give me a like or follow me for further updates.